Hello, my name is Omer and in this video I will show you how to set up your UI just like mine. The first add-on I'm going to uh, use is add-on control panel. This add-on allows you to disable or enable add-ons without having to log out each time. The first add-on I'm going to enable is Dominos with all of its small add-ons. Dominos is my bar add-on. It allows me to put my buttons anywhere I want on the screen and keybind them. Next I'm going to enable some add-ons that uh, make it look a little bit more nice like button facade, chatter, let's enable titan panel as well. There, it looks a lot more prettier, the team and the chatting add-on now is set up in the correct way. I also have my Titan panel on top, which allows me to um, see my FPS. And I like this feature, which is auto repair. Uh, each time you talk to a vendor that can repair you, it will repair you. The next add-on I'm going to enable is Quartz, which I use for my guest bar. So now I have a cast bar where you can see the mind flight ticks. To set it up you just do slash quartz, you can lock or unlock the bar and you can uh, change the background, transparency and everything. Ok so let's set up for the exorcist. This add-on is pretty important. I've made a new profile so I can show you from the start how to set it up perfectly. So the first thing I'm going to set up is the dots going to enable test bar so I can easily see what is actually going on. Um, what you do is instead of using these types and tracking every a certain uh, group of buffs, I'm going to set them up manually. So I'm going to set up Vampiric Touch, show Shadow Word, Pain, and Devouring Plague. The test bar show where these uh, are going to be showed at the moment. I'm going to put them a little bit lower. I like him over. Okay. What you have to set up for sure is uh, the the ticks. You have to include. Uh, you have to mark that it's going to show you the ticks. Um, and sparks, and um, definitely use show cast time glow so you can see that Vampiric Touch has a cast time and you can um, better track when you have to cast it. Also, enable force maximum time and use a maximum time of about 20 seconds. Since Devouring Plague is a little bit over 20 seconds, but it doesn't actually matter uh, how it looks like, I just uh, use 20 seconds. You can change the height and the size but 300 pixels is good for me at the moment let's see how it looks uh, let's uh, lock it now there we go looks decent enough at the moment but there's still something is missing for example the tag is still incorrect Let's use this thing. Now you can track more easily what is what. The one thing to note is that Vampiric Touch has the same color as Shadow Word Paint, this add-on. So you can change that by using color and show and change it to another color, for example, like purplish. This tag isn't actually very good, isn't helping much. We, we already know by icons uh, that you can enable which spell is which. Um, if you want to enable the icons, additional layout probably, yeah, there we go, show icons, etc. Icons on the right or on the left, doesn't matter where you put them, but now you can easily see which target you're actually DPSing, and if you change targets, that'll actually, you know, now you can trick it for different targets. Um, if you want to have it go down instead of up, that's maybe more handy for us right now. So let's set up 
uh, additional things like procs, for example. Um, make a new one a clone called procs. I'll uh, move it a bit higher. Expand up this time. So, no longer need these. I'm going to now track buffs and debuffs, procs. Uh, but you have to manually add them, like Light V, for example. Um, volcanic Destruction, that's the one from the Darkman Trinket. Power Torrent. There may be others that you want to track, but I want to track these. Uh, let's just see what happens. There we go, but we can't really see what name they are, so if you want to see what name they are, you just use the tag spell. There you go. Now we can track all of your procs at the same time. Last thing you want to track, definitely want to track, is Mind Blast and Empower Shadows, so I used a different one for that. And I'm going to use the buff called Empowered Shadows, of course. Power channel. Show. I'm going to color that red for some reason. I really like the red color on that. So red. And mine blast cooldown. There we go. I'm going to put the uh, the, the bar at the left side for the moment, but actually it should be right under my cast bar. Just don't want to set that up right now. There we go. It doesn't actually need the cast time mind blast, of course. So you can enable show cast time glow on that. You should probably change the timing on empowered shadow to 15 seconds because that's how long empowered shadow is going to take maximum so there's no point in tracking more than 15 seconds there we go so I've done some setting up now I've set the bars under each other and with the correct settings on everything go. Let's enable some more add-ons to make everything more visible. For example, mix scrolling battle text is really good for showing you how to uh, to see how much damage is done. And let's also enable tiny plates. I love that add-on. Okay, so now tidy plates is enabled and you can track your dots on multiple targets with this as well. But right now it's going to show you whenever you're mind fleeing and whenever a target is a mind blast debuff. I don't find that helpful so I'm going to disable that. What you do is you go to the last part which is this show my debuff timers. You say show only specific and then you type in the names of the debuffs you wish to track. Devouring Plague. So now it's only going to show you the debuffs you want, no longer Mind Blast or Mind Flame. Or Mind Searing for that matter. Make scrolling battle text doesn't take much to show up it's easy to configure, you can see which scroll values you want, you can set up the font, etc, etc. doesn't take long to do that. The next item I want to show you is probably one of the more important ones as well, which is Power Auras. Power Auras allows you to show custom icons over, uh, under certain conditions. So let's try work a bit in Power Auras, slash power going to use page 5 as the other pages are filled with me. First thing you probably want to sh uh, set up is Shadow Orb. Shadow Orb. I'm going to use 
use its own texture for this. It's a bit big though at the moment, so probably have to scale it down a bit. 10% sounds good. Okay, so let's see what happens. Let me get a get an orb. There we go. Now we get a nice orb icon, but maybe you want to know how many orbs you have uh, with power armor. So what you do is you set it up so this one is always active, then you copy it to the same page, and you set it up so this one only shows when you have two or more stacks, and you move it a bit. Probably moved the wrong one there, but okay. And then you copy it again. This one only shows when you have three or more stacks. Now, let's see, I'm going to have four orbs. One, two, three. Nicely set up. Another thing you can do is track cooldowns. So let's track, for example, Mind Blast cooldown because that has a cooldown and I can actually show that more easily but I probably would use uh, Archangel or Shadow Feet let's use again the own texture make it a little bit smaller Power Auras must like big icons for some reason So as soon as Mind Blast is of cooldown now, it's going to show a large icon that I can use to spell. There's a couple of things you can edit, like for example, track only the cooldown, not if you're actually able to cast it, for example, if you would have low mana. If you want to, you could use a timer and show you how long a cooldown is still going to last, so let's use that. There we go. And now we have a nice time. So I could actually remove the uh, for the exorcist cooldown if I wanted to. The last add-on I'm going to show you is shadowed unit frames. You could use Xperl or anything instead if you want to, but I really kind of like the customizability you have with this add-on. You can choose focus target, focus, etc. Use these bosses, uh, boss health bars, which can be quite useful if there's more than one boss. Um, one thing you should probably enable is um, on your target is to set up how your debuff show, which I find very helpful. Adds on auras, and then you can enable debuffs and enable buffs, and kind of anchor them together if you really want to do that. There you go. That's most of my UI setup to use as it showed in the video, although there's a couple of more add-ons that I use, but they're mostly just customization and making my life a little bit easier. I hope you found this movie helpful and thanks for watching.